The recent increase in the spate of kidnapping, pipeline vandalism and oil bunkering has become the focal point of recent military operations across the Niger Delta. But some critical stakeholders in the region have been expressing concern over the unethical approach of some officers against natives living in communities in the oil-rich region. The Ejo Youth Council, in this press statement held at Ejo House in Yanagua, accused the military of coordinated killings, destructions and genocide in Ejo communities, among other related issues. The spokesperson for the IYC says the body will be using all legal means possible to address the issue in the coming days. I must tell you that the Nigerian military have started their rational killings and destructions in our communities again. To mention but a few, Tomba community and Bile Main Town in Degema local government area of River State have been decimated by the Nigerian military. These are also pictures of displaced, innocent and defenseless community settlers simply because the military is looking for oil thieves or militants who are not even residing in, the, in, the, in these communities. These are statements of facts. We have our evidence and we shall tender it when we shall meet in court. Eyes on. Yeah. The IYC is also seeking the investigation of some senior military officers serving in the Niger Delta as they believe many have been compromised in the fight against oil criminals in the region. One thing is certain in the aftermath of the 2023 general election and this is that a new political leadership will emerge in Nigeria. The second fact is that Nigeria would have experienced 24 years of unbroken democracy, the longest in our history. That history underlined by varying degrees of political activism and electoral energy has started with feverish electoral campaigns, proud tradition that dates even to the pre-independence era. First of all, for the main opposition People's Democratic Party, the feelers are that a full-blown campaign is said to be launched and this will see its bigwigs descend on Abuja for concerted campaign efforts. The third force parties such as the Labour Party and Social Democratic Party are on the other hand not relenting in their bid to make themselves visible. They are ready to immediately embark on a full-blown five-month campaign schedule. On the other hand, the ruling party or Progressives Congress appears to be taking a measured approach to campaigning. Freed from the limitations of pre-election ban on campaigning, it seems to have elected for a surrogate-led campaign on media and public platforms, rather than full-blown political campaigning that characterized such kickoffs. Voter education involves providing information on who is eligible to vote, where and how to register, how electors can check the voter list to ensure that they have been duly included, what type of elections are being held, where, when and how to vote, who the candidates are and how to file complaints. The forthcoming 2023 general elections provide an opportunity for new voters to understand their rights, the political system, the context they are being asked to decide and how and where to vote. Anek wants more hands to be on deck to support the commission to reach out to as many as needs to be educated on the need to cast their vote appropriately. Considering the size of the nation, we need hands. All hands should be on deck, you know, to provide voter education. But top on the list are registered and civil societies who have passion, you know, in civic responsibilities, uh, you know, educating the citizens, you know, to be alive to their obligations and responsibilities. While the 2022 Electoral Act has been widely hailed as a step forward, there are very few people who are familiar with its specific provisions, especially the ones related to electoral offenses like vote buying, uh, that really do threaten to undermine the legitimacy of the 2023 elections. 
This event organized by the International Foundation for Electric System is to raise non-governmental organizations that will pitch innovative proposals for effective and inclusive voter education campaigns in the build-up to the 2023 general elections.